Well, right now, voters across the Commonwealth are headed to the polls to choose the Democratic nominees in major races, including governor and attorney general. And news reporter Brendan Ponton is live at a precinct in Norfolk. Okay, what kind of activity are you seeing out there? Well, in talking with some of the volunteers who've been out here all day, they say it's been pretty slow. And I understand that's kind of what we're seeing across the state here today, kind of a low turnout primary election day. Now, let me show you here what it looks like at Granby Elementary School here in Norfolk. You can see some of the different volunteers and signs that are out here. And one of the interesting races that's happening right where we are is in the 79th House District. Steve Heretic, whose district includes Portsmouth and Norfolk, he has two primary challengers, and all three campaigns are out here right now talking to voters as they go in and cast their ballots. The two challengers are Darius Clark and Dante Walston. Clark actually just showed up here, and he's talking with some of the, the voters over there as well. So that's kind of what we're seeing out here. Of course, the big races that everybody's looking forward to seeing the results of are governor, lieutenant governor, and attorney general as all three of those are contested and so we will have to see what happens with those races when the polls close later tonight the polls are open here until seven o'clock and we also understand that more than a hundred thousand people voted early either in person at the registrar's office or by mail so that could be another reason why it's been a little bit more quiet than you might normally expect so we'll be out here throughout the afternoon and evening as the polls are open until seven o'clock and then we'll start to see some of those results. We're live in Norfolk. I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3. Brendan, thank you so much. Stay with News 3 on air and online for all the primary results as soon as the races are called right now on WTKR.com. You can find all of our primary coverage and information on the Republican Party nominees ahead of the general election.